So I'm in the freight industry to shift forever the way ground transportation works. Let me tell you a little bit about me. Nothing excites me more than to create simple but innovative solutions for big, big problems. And having founded a 400 employee logistics company and learned from the best at MIT and Columbia led me into thinking truckers just don't have the right tools to succeed. On one hand, you have the trucking companies. In the US, 90% of them with less than six trucks. Three out of four fail to survive each year. On the other, you have the brokers, eager to compete but struggling to engage with them. The reason? It's just too manual and complex for these small independent guys to analyze a spot market with over 50,000 loads and 20,000 carriers at a single time, every time that they need to make a decision. My name is uh, Guillermo, I'm the CEO of Smart Hub, an autonomous agent for truckers to plan, search, and book loads. So that, was, that sounds easy, but how do we do it? Our agent, Axel, starts by understanding the context of each driver. Their likes, their dislikes. We blend that information with real-time market analysis and predictions for us to be able to outperform, but at the end, replace human dispatchers when they make the decisions of what's best for them. If that's not enough, our technology merges two trips into one, transforming each truck into a moving consolidated warehouse. In a $700 billion industry, we are, prior to helping all carriers, we're helping those that are suffering the most. Owner operators, small carriers, that are running long haul throughout the continental US. So we built a team of industry experts, technology gurus, and a top of the line set of advisors that makes out of Smart Hub the best team to take on this challenge. On your left, you'll see um, our competitions, dispatching services uh, companies that rely on back office filled with people trying to search for loads manually on the web. Below, you'll see the brokers, either legacy or digitals. These are the guys who we are partnering with so we provide to them with visibility of capacity and they will give us the loads that they have for us to engage in a more efficient way. We see that the industry is overlooking the fact that no trucker, no independent trucker in the spot market will ever engage 100% with one single broker. The freight industry is so fragmented that they really need to understand which broker to work with, and which load to get every single time. That's why our unique product helps these guys solve the problem to really make the decision that will make them, at the end, profitable. So far, we are a venture-backed company. We just launched our beta, and working with these early, first early adopters, uh, helping us get our technology to that sophistication uh, point where we can hit a list of 100 plus guys that have already signed up to our platform and are waiting for us uh, to be ready. And super excited to tell you that we're working with awesome companies which we have partnered with, two of them, Anheuser-Busch and FedEx. They're testing our technology today and piloting our technology to see if we can engage in a more efficient way our truckers with their loads. So join us in um, building the largest asset-free and dispatcher-free company in the industry. Thanks. So uh, I have a question. You had Convoy up there. Um, I happen to know a lot about them. What, what exactly, why can't they just change 
and, and go into the space that you're, you're going into, or someone like them? Yeah, so Convoy and all the brokers, in essence, are doing what we are uh, planning to do. Uh, the reality is that their LTV comes from the shipper. So Convoy will engage with a trucker, try to have them on their platform as much as they can. Reality is that trucker will hold them for Uber Freight or for CH Robinson. So Convoy won't tell that trucker that CH Robinson has a better load for him. He wants that guy for him. Reality is that guy will then go hold for FedEx brokerage or the other. So they won't engage 100% with the truckers. And the same 20,000, 30,000 that they have onboarded in Convoy are the same that Coyote has, are the same that CH Robinson has. So on our side, we can tell them today, your best option is Convoy. When you deliver, it's not Convoy. It's CH Robinson now that has a better load for you, not for Convoy's shipper to haul for. So, so who's paying you? The, uh, our customer is the owner operator. So as we book a load for them, we charge them a commission for getting that load for getting them. Getting the best load for them. Basically. Exactly, exactly. So we don't get in the middle between the broker and the carrier. So do you focus then on selling to the shipper your services or selling to the owner operator? Because your last slide had um, some big shippers that you were actually deploying the software with. So what's your, what's your strategy? And then follow up question is the owner operator community is very unsophisticated in many ways, shapes and form. Um, how do you get them to become aware of your product and how have you found the integration of getting them engaged and hooked on your platform? Yeah, so to your first question, our customer is the owner operators or fleets that have less than 10 trucks. Those are our customers. But at the end, it's the chicken and the egg. We need the loads for them to have a business. So we need to partner with Anheuser-Busch, with FedEx, with Convoy for us to API their loads, process that load, and then be able to tell our customers, the owner operators, with which broker and which load they should help for. So those are partners that we're giving them visibility of the capacity for them to give us their loads and for us to process that. But our customers are the owner operators. And to your second question, people might say that truckers are not tech savvy. Yeah, they don't code but they're used to today going online, uh, searching for loads. Um, marketplaces like DAT and Truck Stop are the two biggest. They're used to going online to searching for their loads. Um, but in, interesting enough, we found that we had even a great, a great advantage being Hispanic. So there's a lot of other guys, owner operators, not tech savvy, don't even think about that they need our technology. They need someone to translate and to be able to talk to the broker. So today, early adopters, we're focusing on demographics. We're getting those guys on boarded for us to be able to learn from them, to have the volume, to then hit and say, okay, CH Robinson, now I have a thousand trucks that I'm asset free, but I become a carrier with a thousand uh, guys on my back. Now let me hook to your loads directly. I think we're good. Thank you very much. Thanks.